I was bitten. He said he was bitten. I was just laying in a pool of blood. That can slice you and tear skin apart. I thought he had crushed my skull. They just act on instinct. He just stood there with my head in his mouth. This prey will bleed out to death. Just shoot at him. It was so horrible. I was on the board of directors of Zoo Boise. Our big fundraiser of the year was that night. This event was called Feast for the Beast. Tigers are not designed to be in captivity. Tigers in captivity are confused, disoriented, and territorial, and are prone to attack. I was working most of the day, helping prepare, getting things set up. The first event was a silent auction. During the auction, some friends and I decided to walk around the zoo. I've always been the type who's open to an adventure. We saw the manager walking by with two buckets, and I asked, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to go feed the tigers. Do you want to come watch? And I thought, yeah. There were a couple of other board members and their families, and there was a policeman there who liked to attend these events. There was about 19 of us total that were able to go behind the scenes and were going to watch the tigers eat. They hadn't had dinner yet. Dinner was hours late. If the tiger is hungry enough, there is always the potential of him attacking. As we were walking into the uh, tiger enclosure, there were three cages on our right. And the third cage was wide open. And then, all of a sudden, we realized there's a tiger there. People were utterly panicked. My first reaction was to reach in and try to close the gate. And by the time I was closing the gate, he was in the opening. I couldn't close it. Tigers are very territorial. They just act on instinct. So if you invade the territory, the tiger instinct is to protect themselves and basically to attack. The tiger just moved forward and was right in front of me. I tried to offer him my purse. I was trying to distract him. He kept coming, so I kept stepping backwards. And after a moment, I thought, well, I've got to do something else. So I turned, and at that next moment, he reached up with one paw and knocked me down. When a 700-pound tiger decides to attack, you're going to lose. All of a sudden, I realized, I'm on the ground. It was just that fast, and I landed on my elbows and knees. He crawled over me. I could see his paw out of the corner of my eye, and it's huge. Jen was attacked by an Amor tiger. Amor tigers can grow to be over 13 feet long and over 700 pounds in weight. I heard a horrible sound. He bent into my head. I thought he had crushed my skull. But what he did do, he bit into my head and dragged his teeth across my head and just held me there. The tiger's bite is very strong. And it applies more than 1,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. The tiger's canines are three inches long. They're longer than a man's finger, and they can slice and tear skin apart with no problem. When it attacks its prey, it goes for the neck area, because that's where you have your windpipe, you have major blood vessels, and its prey will bleed out to death in no time. I can feel his chest over my back. He just stood there over me with my head in his mouth for I don't know how long. 
his lower jaw was here, and then his upper jaw was, you know, on this side of my head. And as he bent down, then I just got sliced across the back of my head. The skin at the skull has a lot of blood vessels in it. It's actually one of the only areas of the skin that you can bleed out to death. The zoo manager was yelling to shoot at him, shoot at him. The manager was frantically trying to do something, anything. The policeman was a bit shocked. This isn't anything he was trained for. He, he didn't know what to do. He, he, he was frozen. Shooting the tiger was a risky proposition, because if you just injure the tiger and make him angry, he might have taken his anger out on Jan. These two shots, so loud. And then I'm just dropped. Another shot was fired. The tiger ran back in the cage, and then Dave ran back and got the gate closed. If that third shot wasn't fired, I don't know what could have happened. I mean, it would have been awful. The tiger had been secured. The manager was yelling at the policeman to call the EMTs, to call the EMTs. It was two teams. They got there very quickly. The EMTs were working on me. Oh. They saw this hole in my leg, and she even asked me, she said, what is that? And I thought, well, maybe he bit me? I, I had no idea. Tiger grabbed Jan by her neck. There was an officer on the scene that shot towards the tiger. Two of the bullets had hit the, the back of the building and one of the bullets had hit me. 